Hi everyone. Let us discuss this comparison test. So here we have two series, AN and BN. See here, AN is greater than or equal to zero and BN is also greater than or equal to zero. That means AN and BN are series of non-negative terms. They have given a very important information. That means AN is always less than or equal to BN. This is true for all N belongs to set of natural number. Then we have to prove that if summation BN upper series convergent, Okay, it is convergent and lower series summation n is also convergent and if lower series summation n is divergent then upper series summation bn is also divergent series this thing we have to prove okay so let us start with sequence of partial sums since when we discuss any result of series mostly we use sequence of partial sum there so let us consider let 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 me mention sn ba sequence of partial sum partial sum of series summation n similarly for series summation b will we will consider tn be a sequence of partial sum let tn be a sequence of partial sum of series summation pn okay so therefore therefore our sn will be a1 plus a2 plus and so on n so you know that uh, when we have a sequence of partial sum, the nth term of sequence of partial sum is nothing but sum of first n terms of a series. Getting so S n is equal to a one plus a two and so on n. This is true for all n belongs to set of natural number. Similarly for T n, we can write b one plus b two plus and so on b n. Again, it is true for all n belongs to set of natural numbers. Okay, so uh, we, definitely we can write one thing here. Let me write clearly. Clearly, a1 plus a2 plus and so on, a n less than or equal to a1 plus a2 plus and so on, a n plus a n plus 1. This is true for all n belongs to set of natural number. See this inequality we have here, you can easily see what is the difference between left hand side and right hand side. In left hand side, we are adding first n terms, in right hand side also, we are adding first n term, but we have this additional term a n plus 1. So we, we have this information a n is always greater than or equal to 0. So if you add one term which is non-negative definitely this kind of relation we will have right. See uh, let me write here. So we have some space let us use. So this is nothing but s n you can easily see this is nothing but s n. So therefore we can write s n less than or equal to here we are adding first n plus 1 terms of series summation n therefore this is s n plus 1 for all n belongs to set of natural number. This inequality says our sequence of partial sum s n is monotonic increasing sequence getting since the next term is greater than previous one. So therefore we can write therefore s n is monotonic increasing sequence okay so it's increasing sequence let me mention increasing sequence similarly okay similarly we can talk about sequence tn also okay in case of tn also we have a series summation bn where bn is greater than or equal to zero so we can write the same sentences for bn also and we will have similarly tn is also tn is monotonic increasing sequence okay so let me mention increasing sequence so we have S n and T n both are monotonic increasing sequence. So let us come back to this information we have let me write we have what we have n is less than or equal to b n for all n belongs to set of natural number. So therefore what can we write a 1 plus a 2 plus and so on n less than or equal to b 1 plus b 2 plus and so on b n. So this relation they have given so that's why obviously a1 is less than or equal to b1 a2 is less than or equal to b2 and so on n is also less than or equal to b so if you take sum we will have the same relation right but see left hand side is nothing but our sn and right hand side is nothing but our tn so therefore sn is less than or equal to tn this is true for all n belongs to set of natural number i am calling it as inequality number one this is also very important information we have okay so let us recall what we have we have very important things that means sn is monotonic increasing sequence 
TN is also monotonic increasing sequence and they have this relation between them. SN is always less than or equal to TN. Let us go further, make a screenshot of it. Okay. So let us go further. Okay. I have purposely kept inequality number one here. So see, let us start with this one. So what we have, we have, we have given information is summation BN converges. Okay. This series converges. So you know that. When the series is convergent, corresponding sequence of partial sum is convergent. And when the sequence of partial sum is convergent, series also convergent. So we have this series summation Bn is convergent. So therefore, the sequence, corresponding sequence of partial sum Tn converges. That is also converges. So we know that every convergent sequence is bounded sequence. Okay. So let us use this thing here. So therefore, sequence Tn is bounded. Okay. It's bounded. It means, so therefore, Tn is less than or equal to M for all N belongs to set of natural number for some, for some M greater than or greater than 0. So there will be some positive real number such that all terms of Tn will be less than or equal to M since we are saying it is bounded sequence. Okay. So I am calling it as inequality number 2. Right. So see from 1 we are getting Sn is less than or equal to Tn. From 2, we are getting Tn is less than or equal to M. So, therefore, from 1 and 2, will you tell me what can we write? Okay. So, let me write it here. From 1 and 2, yes. So, from 1 and 2, we can write. So, therefore, Sn is less than or equal to M for all N belongs to set of natural number. See, A less than B, B less than C, then we obviously we say A less than C. So, okay. So, that's why we have got Sn is less than or equal to M. Okay, few steps before just we wrote there that SN is monotonic increasing sequence and now we are saying it is bounded above. Okay, what we are saying it is bounded above. So, let me write it clearly. So, here, here SN is monotonic increasing sequence, increasing sequence and it is bounded above. Okay. So we are familiar with that result. If you have any monotonic increasing sequence, which is bounded above, then it is convergent. And as well as one more result we have, if you have any decreasing sequence, which is bounded below, then also it is convergent. So here we have this thing that it is increasing sequence. It is increasing, getting, but it is bounded above. So that's why obviously it will converge and it will converge to its least upper bound. Okay. So therefore, let me mention here, therefore, SN is convergent sequence okay so sn is a sequence of partial sum of series summation n and now we are saying it is convergent so that's why corresponding series is also convergent so therefore we can say therefore summation n is convergent series okay it's convergent series so we started with summation bn is convergent series and finally we proved summation n is also convergent series so in this way we proved the first part here let us go for the second part, make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. Let us discuss second part. In second part, we have the lower series summation n is divergent series and we have to prove that upper series summation bn is also divergent series. So let us start with the given information that is summation n is divergent series. So you know that when the series is divergent, corresponding sequence of partial sum is also divergent. So therefore, we can say, therefore, Sn, okay, the corresponding sequence of partial sum is Sn converges to infinity as n tends to infinity. As summation n is divergent, Sn is also divergent. That means either it will converge to infinity or minus infinity. It will diverge to, okay. But see, as we, uh, the given information is n and bn are the series, okay. Summation n and bn are series with non-negative terms. So there are no chances that that series or uh, sequence will diverge to minus infinity. So, only one possibility that it will diverge to infinity. So, therefore, SN uh, uh, diverges to infinity. So, see, as you can see here from 1, as the lower sequence diverges to infinity, obviously, the higher sequence, the upper sequence will diverge to infinity. So, let me mention from 1, from 1, what can we say? Tn also diverges to infinity as n tends to infinity. But say Tn is a sequence of partial sum of series summation Bn. As Tn diverges, series also diverges. So therefore, summation Bn diverges. Okay. So summation Bn 
diverges. Let me remove this one. Inequality number one is not required now. So in this way, we proved the second part also. As the lower series is divergent series, upper series is also divergent series. In this way, we completed proof of comparison test. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.